Hey guys, what's up? So today, since we are celebrating Dr. Seuss Week, me and my grandma here are, well, she's coming, we are making green eggs and ham. Um, not literal green eggs and ham. It is white chocolate. Um, it's melting in the microwave. It is wet, white chocolate, can't talk today. Green M&M's, and I picked all of them out, right, Grandma? Picked all of them out. Yes, that was and her job. I had to give her a simple job her for to start. <laughs> and then I'm sticking M&M's on once my grandma pours the chocolate. And then um, we take... Whoa, that got big. Oh, that's um, And then we take... I don't want the spoon to fall Note out. to viewers, use a hot pad. <laughs> yep. And then we take pretzel sticks. Um, just thin pretzels. And stick them on so it looks like green eggs and ham. And... <coughs> My grandma and me have been making these for a long time. So, we are going to be making some for school. At least my teachers and stuff. Um, so, I'll show you how we do it. So, I got to grab the M&M's. I picked all those out. Whoa. And I'll bring the pretzels. And I'll show you how we do it. So I'm going to prop the camera up. So then, you guys can watch as we go. So then I can do my job. So it's a little bit dark, but it's okay. So you take the green m and and put the M's facing down. And to make sure that the pretzels, or like make the m and look centered when you add the pretzels, I tend to put the m and a little farther off to the side than centering it because then once you add the pretzels they're gonna fill in the space that you should have put the m&m in so then i know you can't see my face but that's okay because i want you to see what we're doing and my grandma's doing a great job of pouring the chocolate um so this is white chocolate you have to use white chocolate because why grandma because it looks like the egg white when you put it out. So, and you have to be very careful when melting. Because you don't want to taste burnt. burnt. So you have to like do it for a minute. Stir it. Because if you don't stir it then the stuff on the bottom will burn. And the stuff on the top will just never fully melt. And we use a smaller bowl with a smaller amount of chocolate. Just so. Even though it takes longer. But then if you do a longer amount. For larger amounts of chocolate, then you're going to have to put it in the microwave for a longer amount of time. And then you then risk burning it. Burning it, and then it just tastes gross, and then it just goes down from there. So, my grandma has to, we're running out of chocolate here. We have plenty of chocolate, though. Woo! It did not fall on the floor. We're um, so, she's going to have to leave for just a quick second on the other side of the room. Where we just, where we started the video actually, um, by the microwave, and she's gonna go cut up more chocolate. So there might be some loud noises, but she has to cut up the chocolate so we can melt more. And we already have like one and a half batches done. Um, and I say one and a half because like we did one big one, like I'm doing here right now. There you can see it. Um, but then the other one was just like a small piece of wax paper. So we only did like six or seven on there. So then, um, yeah. So anyways, I'm just going to finish while my grandma and you can hear the microwave going. Um, we're just finishing up this batch and then we will just keep going. So what are you doing, grandma? I'm scraping using a rubber scraper to Gotta get... show them. Oh, sorry. I got the bowl here. She's not very good at filming, so I had to tell her what to do because she doesn't really, and then she had to go comb her hair for all the guys. <laughs> I didn't do much. It was already in a ponytail. I'm just scraping the bowl with a rubber scraper to get the remaining chocolate out so we don't waste any. So we got some big eggs and little eggs. I'll just say that. Because depending on how far the chocolate like spread out before it actually started to set. Okay, don't put it in that one because I'm going to make that. It looks kind of weird. Like I have a really big one over here where the pretzels are like really spaced out. There, I fixed it. 
and then the other some of the other ones are the pretzels are like just barely like apart because they the chocolate is like so like in a small blob that it didn't spread very far so the pretzels are like far apart so she's just getting more chocolate as you could probably hear the microwave going and she turn it again so you oh, guys sorry i'm back with the other bowl that i had and do you like melted her shirt? Ahead, uh dressed for dr seuss i don't have any dr school. seuss shirts but i mean oh but i mean i still love his book so so instead of doing at school, we did we usually do like an article of the day where we have to like take notes on it and stuff for like 10 minutes before recess. Except this week we're doing like Dr. Seuss raps. Go check it up on YouTube, you guys. They're really funny and they're like really good experience. Like people, not necessarily like a famous rapper, but just like anybody can try it. They literally just take a Dr. Seuss book. And, I mean, you can do this with any book, but it's supposed to be for Dr. Seuss Week, so that's why we're doing Dr. Seuss theme. But, anyway, um, they are just normal people, and they take any Dr. Seuss book, and they, like, read it, except they add it like they're singing it in a rap. So, instead of just going, the cat in the hat, like that, they're, like, making it into a song version. And it's, like, a really cool version, and it gets kind of kids to enjoy reading, I feel, a little bit more. I mean, I'm in fifth grade, but it's a lot more fun to do that rather than just, like, boring note-taking. So it's a lot, like, more fun during the day and stuff. Oops, I missed one. Oh, I forgot um, to say, I use a teaspoon, just a regular uh, oh, I forgot two. Jeez. spoon, you know, out of the drawer, nothing fancy. Just make make the white part as big or as small as you want. You kind of got to guess, enough to make room for an M&M and... Two and you pretzels. could do like a double dunker if you really want. Oh, yeah, yeah. But that would take a lot. But as I was saying, like it's really fun. And some of like your favorite Dr. Seuss books, they do them. Um, and they're just like any, like any person can do it. And they just add some like good like drumming in the background. You know, it's like on like a recorded thing. And it adds a nice beat to it. And it's really interesting. And they do funny, like, you know. Dr. Seuss books, they're funny, but then they turn them into something that, you know, kids enjoy, like music. So, it's just really fun to, like, listen to and stuff. Well, there you go. Um, so, yeah, it's really fun. And today we did one of my favorite Dr. Seuss books. It's called Up on Top. Comment down below if you guys have ever heard of that one before. It's really funny. It's for these three animals, like a dog. I think it's like a... Um, a tiger and a lion yeah um they're like putting apples on their head and seeing how many they can get compared to the other people but then the tiger is like all extravagant and he can get like way more than them and then they all get like 10 at the end and it's just a really cute book that i've loved for like ever since i started reading so it's it was really cool so you guys should go check those out and yeah oh whoops uh-oh. I'm going to have to eat that one. Why? What happened? The M&M fell with the M facing oh, up. that doesn't matter. Then I tried turning it and then just got covered in chocolate. Oh, whatever. Well, I might have to eat that one. But anyways, I'm going to go over there quick and... Sorry, I'm eating pretzels. Um, I'm going to show you how we're doing... With the batch that we first started with there. So they're like almost dry, right? Yeah. I had to put one over here just because <laughs> I ran out of room. I keep forgetting how close this gets when like I bring my arm in. So I have to be careful to keep my arm out like that. And then, mm, hello. So. Now we should probably do a count on how many we got. How many do we even need? Oh, I need more pretzels. Well, that's the other thing. We have to decide how many we need. <laughs> the parts of filming, you just talk randomly. Um, so, oh, that one's hardened. I forgot to put pretzels on it. Oh. Whoopsies. Um, but here they are. And this is just to hold the wax paper down, but you really don't need that. So yeah. there's, um, you can see they're all a little bit different sizes. 
And then here are the ones over here. Mm -hmm. I forgot this one. There's my pencils on it. Hard. Whoopsies. Um, I'll be fine. So these are the ones over here. Then I'll bring you over. Well, lighting change. Change. And then these are some of the ones that we just did. So they're like slightly dried, but don't take a minute yet, obviously. So these. Oh, tell our viewers that you can also do these for uh, with yellow for. You can Regular also do and for yellow M&M's for um, regular, like just Dunker, Sunny Side Up eggs, whatever you want to call them. Um, you can just use the yellow M&M's instead of the green ones for green eggs and ham. You can just do yellow ones for like a breakfast party or like anything special like that, just for a little treat. Um, so, yeah, and it, the balance between the sweetness and the saltiness is really good because, because sorry about that, can't talk today apparently. Um, you have like the sweet white chocolate, really dark right there. Um, you have the sweet white chocolate, but then you also have, why is it so dark? But then you also have the like sweet M&Ms, but then you have the two salty pretzels, and they're like coated in salt usually, like so you can like see the little salt particles. So like the balance between the sweetness and the saltiness of the pretzels and the chocolate and the M&Ms is like really on point. So they're really easy to make. What do we all need, Grandma? White ch chocolate. Here, come over by you. It comes oh, that's, in a... That looks really bad. <laughs> She's holding a knife. Yeah, don't look at the knife. This is the white. It's like dipping chocolate. Yeah, you like use candy melts. Candy. I, wait, I can get the wrapper so you can see. She's going to go to the wrapper. Well, then we just put it in a bowl. And then we put that in the microwave for like a minute like we said before. And like another, and then another like 30 seconds. So uh, this this is, is called uh, Great Value Almond Bark Vanilla Flavored Coating. I got this at Walmart. I know you can also get it at Econo Foods. And I don't like, remember how much it costs. But it's these ingredients are super cheap. And even like you know this is green eggs and ham. But even if you just had like a little pack of M and M's, you could really like from Halloween or something. You could just make like five of them at your house with like different colored M and M's. Like it would be fun. Um, Granted, you wouldn't get a lot unless you had, like, a lot of little packs of M&M's. But we literally just bought, like, a giant bag of M&M's. It's, like, one of the party size bags. So then we got a lot of green M&M's and a lot of the leftover other colors. So, Which we're going to eat ourselves, by the way. Uh, <laughs> this is a uh, one Not pound, sharing with Grandpa. One, 24 ounces, which is one pound, eight ounce block of the almond bark which at walmart costed two dollars and 98 cents so like three dollars i mean three dollars for like a whole like what 12 squares Did of you chocolate count how many we got out of not yet but um we so you take the chocolate and then you just need any sort of pretzels um we just use the skinny sticks because they're called pretzel sticks um and ooh. There we go. This is another great value brand. It's a really great brand. Really quite cheap. And they are like thin enough so then they look cute on our green eggs and ham. Um, and you, I wouldn't use like square pretzels or like really thick pretzels because it's that... look like bacon. Yeah, so it's look like bacon. I know bacon's not usually like this color, this shape. But obviously this is the closest you can get without having to like individually make it out of like you know, like a fondant or like a gum paste or even just like a taffy or something. It would take forever. So pretzels are literally really cheap and you find them like pretty much everywhere. You probably have these at your house. And if you don't, it's okay. They're real cheap. And you just need some green M&Ms. And like then we you get said. to eat the ones that are broken. You get to eat them mm -hmm. just for the fun of it. Or if you forgot to put pretzels on them like me or the M&M gets covered up in the chocolate, then you get to eat them too. Or if you accidentally drop it on the floor, then you can probably eat it too. You don't want to give it to anybody. But now you just need some M&M's. Like we said before, I mean, if you're making green eggs and ham, you should have green M&M's. But if you don't, you can use just regular yellow M&M's. Or you can take any 
is any color M&M and &M and make it your own. So well, gonna, another helpful hint is you can use this white chocolate uh, teak. Um, what did we use? Oh, them round pretzels that you buy at Christmas. They're all round, and you fit, melt the white wow. chocolate and uh, put a little dab in the hole of the round pretzel and then put red and green M&Ms in there, and they look kind of fun for Christmas. And you can use white or milk chocolate for right. that. Chocolate and it's, or They're white. super good. They're chocolate. a big hit, especially at your house. Lots of kids kind of, the red ones some kids call reindeer noses because they're kind of cute. And honestly, they're like super yummy, and you can just like put them in a little snack baggie and take them in your lunch or like to work or like whatever you're taking them for. Just a little snack in the car for your kids. I mean, granted, the chocolate might melt a little bit, but otherwise, they're super easy to take on the go. And um, right now, we're just counting them to see how many we have compared to how many we need before we melt any more chocolate. So, Sign yeah. Off for now. I will make a part two because this video is already like 16 minutes and I don't want to just bore you guys while we're sitting here literally doing nothing because I have like no more to talk about until we actually can melt more and keep making them. So I'm going to end right here and I'll see you all shortly. Bye guys. Say bye. 80, 90, 20, 20, bye. 20, 20, 20. Goodbye. <laughs> bye guys.